Hello and welcome to part three of discussing object orientation programming in Python. Now, if you've watched the lesson one and lesson two, you can go back and you can have a look at those and they will go over the, the kind of basic concepts of how a class is a blueprint. Those videos are in the playlist if you need to go back to them. Now, we're gonna do something slightly different today. We are going to talk about something called inheritance. Now, you may have seen this in places before, but ultimately, inheritance is all about taking on similar conditions from other classes. Now, the best way for me to describe this to you is that when you inherit something from your family members, so your birth parents, you generally have some attributes. Not all the time, it's not perfect, but sometimes you may have the height of somebody in your family. I know I certainly have the height from generations back. Uh, eye color, it may be facial features, just the way. Inheritance, you're taking on attributes, you're taking on behaviors from your family members. Now, what we have is we have a parent class. Now, in this example, I'm going to split this into two, but in this example, we have our parent class here, and that class is called person. Now, what I've got here is I've set up this class so that it's got their name, their age, and their date of birth. And you'll notice I've set up my method. So my method here is a description of that person. And what it does is it takes in their name, age, and it says the date that they were born. So we can reuse that for different people, for different scenarios, and it returns that, that description as a variable so that we can print it out. Uh, we also have our language that the person speaks, okay? So we are writing a program here that allows different people from different cultures, different backgrounds. And what we've got here is speak info. So I've created a variable and I've again taken, because I've used self, I'm able to use my variables that I've created here. Uh, I'm using name and saying what they speak. Speaks is the parameter passed in so whatever language I put in and a full stop. And again, that returns it. So what I've got here is the instance that I've created of the class. So we've got the basic basics makeup of the, of the class here. Now, what we've then got is Ray is a person and there's name, age and date of birth. And then what we've got here is that will print the description because the description has been returned from the method. Remember, anything we return from a method is an output. And because I've put that inside this print, that is output there. And then we've also got my method here called language. And when I put in the text English in there, that is passed into the parameter. And again, if I run this now, you'll see that it says, just waiting for it to load. Ray is 36 years old, born on the 24th of the 8th, 1986. So what we've got here is the description was printed out because that was what was returned. Re remember, I created a variable to keep all of that in and that's what's been returned. And then ray.language, I passed a parameter into my class and I output it there. Now, that is a reminder of what we did now. Moving forward, what we can do is inherit features of the class, all right? So I'm going to start off by inheriting and creating some new classes, all right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to create classes for different languages, okay? It will become, it will make sense in a minute, but I'm going to inherit the person. So watch, I'm going to have I'll take that off capital letters, class, French. So we're going to have people that speak French and we use pass just to, and you can see here, it's another operation when executed, nothing happens. So it's a useful placeholder that we use when we're programming so that we can write something in later on. Uh, we've got class German. And again, we're using the person class again, and we're going to pass class. Uh, let's go for Welsh, okay, and we're going to go for person and pass. So I've set those up. 
What that means though, is now that each person that is using the French class will still be able to use all of these different attributes. So I'm just going to demonstrate how that might work here. So I've got Ray who is using the, the class person, but watch what I'm going to do here. Uh, we're going to have, uh, let's go for Bridget equals person, uh, sorry. So Bridget equals German. And again, I can still pass in the, so we're going to, her name is Bridget. She is just to save me time working out date of births. I'm just going to do 24th of 9th, 1986. All right. We're going to print out Bridget dot description. So that now will print that out. And again, print Bridget dot language. And I can put that language in there. So I'm going to put German. Now you're probably thinking, what was the point in this? I will show you in a minute. So if I run that now, it now prints out Bridget. Okay. I could do the same or let's go for uh, Glyn equals Welsh. Uh, his name is Glyn. He is 40 and he is the 13th of the ninth. And we're going to go 1982. Okay. Print Glyn dot description. And again, print Glyn dot language and the language he speaks. Now, this is the cool thing when we are using inheritance. We don't always have to use the features that are in the original class. What we can do is we can overwrite it. So what I could do if I wanted to is rather than just putting in Welsh here, what I could do is overwrite the method. All right, so watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to overwrite the method and we're going to do Welsh first. So make sure it's not running. And here is the original method, all right? So we're gonna use that method, but because the language is slightly different for this person, so F language, watch what I do here, it speaks equals, all right? And we're gonna say Welsh and return speak info. So this time though watch what i do i don't need to pass that information in what i should be able to do is actually override the class behavior with a behavior for this class that has inherited everything so let's run this and can you see it still says Glyn speaks Welsh because what I've done there is I've changed the behavior of this class. I'm going to do the same for German now. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put a class. So I'm going to, sorry, a method. All right. And speaks equals German. And we're going to remove that out. We're not going to put that in anymore. We're just going to assume that that person is German whenever we use the German class, okay? So whenever they use the German class, it inherits everything from person, but it's slightly different. So let's work and run that. And you can see it still works. And all I have done is overridden that class, all right? And it still allows me to use all of the methods that were originally in the person class.
inheritance. I've inherited all of those features. Part two of this video will show you what some of these terms mean and we'll go into a little bit more detail.